Siakara. 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 Ancestors, I am here today in the town of Birimba, Alabama, a sacred land, a place where black American found root to their dreams and fought difficult battles for freedom and justice. Birmingham, Alabama, a place in where Martin Luther King sit down and wrote seminal words, his cause fighting for freedom and from the betterment of his fellow men. Ancestors, I am here to celebrate. I am here to honor. I am here to find fellowship with my fellow American and my fellow Alabamian. Ancestors, I ask you for permission to allow my eyes to be open and see with clarity what is in front of me, to my heart to be kind so that I could speak words of truth without fear. Ancestors, I am here with your permission to enter a conversation about justice and about truth. Like Martin Luther King said, sitting in a jail in the town of Birmingham, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We have gone a long way. We have made so much progress, but still, we are still a divided place, a nation who call individuals by their colors and not used by their merit. Yes, we have a black president, but yet we are still the black skinned, the brown skinned, walking and living with some sort of hiding fear. I am here in this sacred land with Sawyer Remember Me, the soil of the town of Matanzas in Cuba, red, full of iron, full of life, full of energy and vitality, to honor those that we have lost and those that we should speak through to no loss in the future. Ancestors, mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, brother, uncle, give me strength and courage to speak truth. Con permiso, Gun. 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 Allow me to come out and speak truth. Con permiso, Gun.
sesto, le pegate le strade, keep my eye clear, keep my heart steady, keep my stomach not looking it up, and let me speak the truth. Here, in this town of Vigna, Martin Luther King, in jail, and spot profound words of truth. Yes, mother, yes, father. I am an immigrant. I came to this great country of America, and I found embrace, and I found love, and I found water. But yes, mother, yes, father, true to heart and truth to life, I cannot say that everything that I see is right, and everything that I have witnessed was great or was good. 1999 to this day, I have been making work about the loss of life of black American in this country. Look at next to your side. Every one of you, look at your side. And tell me what you see. You don't need to answer, but look at your side. Benita, a great town of Afro American. How many are here today? Could I count them with my hands? Could you count them with your hands? Shouldn't be in their ear more and more people like me? Why aren't they here? I am not seeking answers. I am not expecting you to respond to me. I am only here to share what I see. As a young girl in the town of La Vega, in the province of Matanzas, I used to hear the owl in the window. I hear from my mother and my father, the owls are birds of wisdom. They anticipate what come on. They know what has been in the past. The abuse of the black body didn't start when boys, girls, and some elderly people start dropping in the street of America since the time that I've been here, as I remember. I am just an artist, a bare witness of my time. I will be not true to my heart. I will not be true to myself. I will not be true to my ancestors and the privilege that I got. Did I come here and don't speak that truth? I am sorry if I may disappoint you a bit. If I may don't entertain you, I am sorry that I cannot just simply make you feel good with me, I say. But I ask you again, look at to your side. How many African Americans are here? In a town in which many black people live, where are they not here? I say, no long ago, to trust somebody to make you food, but not trust that person to write the recipe. To trust somebody to feed your children, but not trust that person to write the name of your children. To trust somebody to care for your loved ones, but not necessarily bring that somebody in the place when you experience beauty and pleasure. It's a long history. It is a long journey. And I am not here to expect answers. I am here just to share what I have seen, what I have learned, what I know. That is my responsibility. That is what honorable I was come to do here. Mother, father, ancestor, Allow me to gather the courage to use a speak truth. Black is not a race. White is not a race. Black is a color. It's a pigment. White is a color. It's a pigment. Black is actually the mixture of every color together and the richer of all color. White, black color. Black is the saturation of color. If we could speak of black and white as pigment, as color, no as race, I am no black. I am a fountain of ideas. I am a fountain of life. 
I am a fountain of possibility. And maybe I've said to you something that you don't like, but if you spend enough time with me, I assert you, you're going to love me. You're going to find that behind the brownness of my skin, we both bled red, we both are pink. If we're going to talk in terms of color, let's enter a conversation about mixing and making of color. But please, do not render me and my people black, and for that matter, obscure, and for that matter, less. Render me with all the vibrancy and richness of all the colors together that make the rich of all pigment black. Mother, father, ancestor, is I gather the courage to use a speak truth. Yes, I am no at peace. Yes, I am no happy. I Martin Luther King said, injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. Doesn't matter that I was born in Cuba. Doesn't matter that I came here seeking freedom, seeking opportunities. Opportunities are still close to me when I am rendered black or when the people that I love are rendered black, color, and not just human. 1999, I was in a plane reading a magazine, and I found an interview with the mother of Amadou Diallo. She said, he came to America looking for a window of opportunity, but his body was shattered 41 bullets through a glass window in the town of Brooklyn. Window of opportunity. Window of opportunity we miss every day when we don't talk to the people next to us because it seems that the color of their skin is different. Or when we treat the people next to us different because he, she could be something less than we think they are. Window of opportunity are open to us all the time See, if we just look behind the skin and try to really seek what is in the heart. Let me name the names. Let me name the names of the people that I suffered through with. Tamir Rice, 12. Romain Brisbane, 34. Akai Gurley, 28. Kajimi Pau, 25. Izell Ford, 25. Dante Parker, 36. Michael Brown, 18. John Crawford III, 22. Tyree Woodson, 38. Eric Garner, 43. Victor White III, 22. Yvette Smith, 47. Mackenzie Cochran, 25. Jordan Baker, 26. Andy Lopez, 13. Miriam Carey, 34. Jonathan Farrell, 24. Carlos Alcins, 43. Larry Eugene Jackson, Jr., 32. 
Dion Flood, 17. Kamani Gray, 16. <coughs> Melissa Williams, 30. <laughs> Timothy Russell, 43. <laughs> Ronaldo Cuevas, 20. <laughs> Chavez. Carter, 21. Chantel Davis, 23. Charmel Edwards, 49. Timon Robinson, 27. Irvin Jefferson, 18. <coughs> Kendrick McDade, 19. Rakia Boyd, 22. Sharice Francis, 30. Wendell Allen, 20. <laughs> Nehemiah Dillard, 29. Dante Price, 25. Raymond Allen, 34. Noel Polanco, 22. Sergeant Manuel Loggins, Jr., 31. Ramarley Graham, 18. Kenneth Chamberlain, 68. Alonzo Ashley, 29. Kenneth Harding, 19. Raheem Brown, 20. Reginald Doucette, 25. Derek Jones, 37. Danroy Henry, 20. Ayana Jones, 7. Stephen Eugene Washington, 27. Aaron Campbell, 25. Kwani Carrington, 15. Victor Steen, 17. Shim Walker, 49. Oscar Grant, 22. Tarika Wilson, 26. Deonta Terrell Farrow, 12. Sean Bell, 23. Henry Glover, 31. 
Ronald Madison, 40. James Persett, 17. Timothy Stansbury, 19. Alberta Spruill, 57. Usmani Zongo, 43. Orlando Barlow, 28. Timothy Thomas, 19. Prince Jones, 25. Ronald Beasley, 36. Carl Murray. Patrick. Dreesmond, 26. Malcolm Ferguson, 23. Amdu Diallo, 23. Live cut short. that never took place. Wings shattered. Hobbs destructed. I wish that I could bring more joy, but I am here mourning. I am here carrying sorrows. And I consider my presence here, as Martin Luther King said, an outsider that come in. An outsider that is in and which only responsibility is to cheer through as she sees. I always ask the ancestor for guidance, for wisdom. And I always ask the all that came to the window in my hand. Let me see clear. Let me see clear. Let me see behind the glass. Let me see behind the appearance. Let me see far as possible. And I like the all song of sorrow and joy.
need light. I need light in the journey to all those souls departed before time, departed by the hand of violence because they were black as they were called. But they just were souls, just souls, people, children, daughters, husband, wife, cousins, aunts, mother, father, just people, just people. <laughs> Maybe one day we could all sit in deep fellowship just as human when color white or black doesn't matter anymore. When just we are that a beautiful human being, a beating heart next to each other. As I said before, if you know me longer, you may love me, I'm going to ask my helper to distribute some wisdom. Thank you for being here. 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 I am not happy. I am in fact an angry woman. I am in fact a real Angry, real angry black woman. Real angry black woman. I am an angry black woman. Because those names are names of people with my blood, my skin, my dreams. Shut that they were the only reason the way are black. And I am angry of that. And I come to Birmingham, Alabama. The town in which Martin Luther King and the civil rights took place to say, I am an angry black woman. And I am here to declare and say from my heart that the way the black Americans are treated in 2016 is not right. Is not right. When my father and my grandfather were working in Cuba, when my great grandfather was working in the field of Cuba, he, he refused to do his work he will receive lashes from the hand of the master. But our congressman, the one that we elected and we paid for what was taxed, sit in Washington and refuse to follow the law right elected president because he is black. I am not happy. I am an angry black woman. Since when the president of the United States of America and the situation at this regard because the color of his skin. So yes, I am here born to say, I am angry. And yes, fellow Birbinians and Atlant Alabamians, it's time to put these things in right and tell the truth as it is. Enough, enough of hurting, violence and black people because they color of the skin. The person who served you in your house is the person to care for you. The person that cleans your dishes is as important as the person that keeps your money in your bank. We black people have built, construct, and support the wealth of this country. And it's enough. 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 I'm sorry that I cannot entertain you. I'm sorry that I need to come here and tell the truth as I see it. Thank you for inviting me. 
happy to be here, but I will be very disordered till I come here and just dance, a Cuban dance, and say that I'm happy. Yeah. I just want to tell her I see. Thank you. Thank you. You could keep adding to the names, and maybe our job together is to be sure that no more names need to add to the plan of wood, that no more black body need to be sacrificed just because they are black. And I love you. I love you all. I know this is no hysteria. This is the truth. And the truth, most of the time, doesn't look pretty. The truth, most of the time, is murky. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. This one, I would love. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Sorrow. I come in sorrow. I live in sorrow.